Welcome to today's GTA 5 Weekly Review. Now, I am, once again, only reviewing the vehicles. I do not care about anything else. Let's get started. With... Simeons. Now, you got this little fucking piece of shit. It looks like the Mamba. Uh, so I don't like it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not gonna test drive that. What's its price? Shut up, Buster. Uh, overpriced. Overpriced. Uh, then you have this thing. I actually like this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I personally like this one. It's a pretty good uh, SUV. It's pretty customizable. I like it. It's fun, but you can get it in your auto shop, so I wouldn't say it's worth buying this week. Then you have this fucking whatever the fuck this is. So this cliffhanger is pretty much just the Western Gargoyle, but uh, probably worse. I'm not going to test drive it. Actually, I lied. I will. This thing, I've never seen this disgusting thing. Uh, seems pretty decently priced. I actually kind of like the look of it, like with the open top. Then you have this thing, which I would actually like to buy, so purchase. Uh, no, I'm not even going to customize it. I'm just going to put it here. I know this bike, and it, uh, you rarely see it, so I think it's very funny, so I want it. This bike, though, I'll actually test drive real quick. Oh, shit. I'll test drive this bike, see how it is. So far, not bad. How's the wheeling? Pretty decent. Hmm. All right. You know what? I like this bike. It's like the gargoyle, except it's not, you know, the gargoyle. Not saying that as in the gargoyle is bad, just saying that as in the gargoyle isn't the best. Unfortunately, this is going to be quite a uh, setback. Everything I'm about to buy is going to be quite a setback for what I'm saving for currently. I was saving for the, uh, Deluxo, because I made a list of fun vehicles I want. And then I was going to start saving for them by one of the Deluxo first, because it's the most useful. Now, I'm going to buy this as well. Auto shop. And then this one can also go to the auto shop. Like I said, quite a setback, but it's fine, because I can make it back later. I will be purchasing this, though. Auto shop. Alright, now before I move on to the next place, I'm going to test drive this thing, but I'm going to test drive it over to the next place, which is Luxury Autos. Then after Luxury Autos, LS Carmi, then I'll end with the podium shit. I'll do the daily shit I have to do today later. I don't think the rat bike is good, I just want it because it's funny. It's just like a collector's bike. I do actually, I like the way it looks, it's just a problem of it's super rusty and garbage. But yeah, I know the rat bike. I know it by name. I've only heard legend of this bike, but to drive it myself, I can agree, this thing's dog shit, but uh, it's fine. So you gotta think smart, you gotta test drive a vehicle. You gotta test drive a vehicle to the next place you're going to instead of requesting your own vehicle. Big brain. Except for the fact that I'm going to request my own vehicle to head over to Ellis Car Meet. Alright, now let's start here. First off, let me get out of this car, then I'll see what cars are here. I already know that one, the Cavaclade, which is just a meh vehicle. The Cavaclade, it looks kind of nice, but the art for it, when I was first introduced, had this like these cool flags on it, and you can't get those, which is lame. Overall, it's a cool-looking SUV, but... It's not that useful. It's cool looking though. I got it for free. I like the way this one looks. It's pretty decent. Uh, then we got whatever fucking car this is. Fathom FR36. Never heard of it. Uh, it looks pretty decent, kind of. I'm going to be real. I don't really like it, but it seems pretty decent. Uh, unfortunately, you can't test drive vehicles here, so I will be... Oh. Why don't I have a personal vehicle? I don't fucking know. 
I'm on the clock. Sick. What you want? Uh, oh, that's why. I'll just use this one. No, use the, I'll use this one. All right. And then let me head over here. I'll do my daily shit later today. I don't feel like playing this game right now, though. I know you guys don't care, so I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk about it. BJS. Yeah, I like the stash house. I got to grind a lot today, especially because I have to upgrade all the vehicles I just bought. Except for the rat bike. I'm not going to upgrade that one. That one. But I will upgrade and customize the cliffhanger and then set it, send it to my uh, motorcycle club. And then I will also... Uh... Upgrade the other fucking the cliffhanger, that thing. I love this Sprunk car. It's very nice. It's literally just Franklin's car, but better. Because this is the car Franklin has, and it's way better. It looks nicer, and it drives better. Looks better, drives better. Ford F-150. I'm going to be real with you. I wasn't trying to avoid that. So before I get uh, complained to for hitting that, uh, I did that on purpose. I wasn't trying to avoid that. I noticed I was going to hit it and was like, fuck it. I don't care. Uh, I do know the podium vehicle already. Uh, I just want to show myself spinning the wheel to see if I win it. I'm hoping I do win it because it is actually... It's one of the vehicles on my list of cars I want to buy. So if I could win it for free, that'd be nice. If I don't, it's whatever, because it's pretty cheap to me. It's not too much of a pain in the ass to uh, grind for it. It would just be nicer if I didn't have to. Now, I will also review the podium vehicle. I'll review the podium vehicle first. Podium, or sorry, te uh, whatever, that vehicle, fucking amazing. I absolutely love the Winky. It is such a cool vehicle. But it is not fun to drive. It sucks ass to use for, like, missions or anything. But it is fun to just drive around casually. Then we come over here. You got this ugly thing, which is the cheetah. Uh, it looks disgusting, but it's good. Then you have whatever this thing is. I'm not even going to test drive it. I fucking hate that car. This thing, though, I know what this car is. I actually wanted it. So how expensive is it? Not buying it. Never mind. This vehicle, though, I do like. I might buy it, maybe, per chance. Perhaps I will acquire this vehicle. But I probably won't, just because I don't really care. Plus, like I said, I'm saving up for a Deluxo, so that I can, uh... Uh... Work on grinding for other vehicles, because the Deluxo will help. Yes, this vehicle. I know what it is. I love this vehicle. It's so funny looking, too. I wanted it, but uh, I didn't buy it when I could, and then it got, I think it got removed from the stores, or from the sites. So far, not bad. Not a bad car. I would like it, but I don't think I'll be getting it this week. But if you guys like this vehicle, you should. It's kind of overpriced. I wouldn't say overpriced, but for what this vehicle it is, for what this vehicle is, I'd say that's pretty decently priced. I don't care about that vehicle, fuck that. Uh, this week, I would suggest uh, going for this thing, just because this thing is fucking amazing. The Cheetah is a pretty decent uh, supercar, so I'd suggest getting it. Uh, and as for the Winky, I, if you want it, it's a pretty fun vehicle to own. It's way better to try winning it than it is to save up for the 800000 to buy it. So I'd say, I'd say try winning it this week. All you have to do is top three day, or get in top three for two days. So I never want to, I never win those cars though, just because I don't care. I don't care about spending that much time because I'm not going to log in uh, daily just for it. But otherwise, not a bad car. I'd suggest getting it. Now let's go see the podium vehicle and see if I win it. Now, since I won the podium vehicle last week, I don't think I will win it this week. But uh, if I could, that'd be nice. But I'm not going to go through the extra effort to go through or er, win it. 
It's just like a, if I don't win it, I don't win it. If I win it, then that's nice. Also, sorry that these videos are a little longer. I could, like, cut the, like, the driving part to the next places out. I just don't want to, because I do talk about stuff when I'm driving in between places. Plus, it's in my style to not edit my videos, which admittedly won't get me anywhere, but you guys have to remember, I'm not doing this for a job. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for professionality. I'm doing this because I'm bored and want to. YouTube is my hobby. Yeah, right here you have the Night Shark. That looks garbage. They did not make the Night Shark look good, but the Night Shark itself is pretty fucking good. Alright, let's see what I win. Based off of when I win, it'll... Dip, it'll... Uh, it'll tell me how poorly my day's gonna go. The rest of my day is gonna go. Well, I want clothing, so, uh, my day is gonna be dog shit. <sighs> now, this isn't accurate, but, uh, I... The Diamond Casino and Resort is uh, sorry, sorry, I had to sit down. In the, of Los Santos. the way I do it is I spin the wheel, and based off of what I get, it depicts uh, how poorly or how good my day is gonna go. If I get something good, my day will go well. If I get something bad, my day is gonna go worse. Actually, no, wait, no, it's opposite. If I get something bad, it means I'll have fun. But if I get anything good, I'll... Or if I get anything good, I won't. Now, hold on a second. I saw a certain vehicle that I've been saving up for, but uh, didn't buy. Let me go find that real quick. Mmm. Nah, I don't want that. Vignus is cool, but I don't really care for it. This is cool, because it's a A10 Warthog. Or in this game, the B11 Strike Force. Uh, I don't remember what the Warthog is actually called. I just call it the A-10 Warthog. 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 Uh, I want this this week. I want to try and get the APC. I don't know if it's good or worth it. I just think it's a fun vehicle, so I want it. Uh, this you should probably get because I heard the Chernabog is pretty useful. This, I'd say if you have enough money, you should save up for it because the... Regular Insurgent is pretty good, but this one isn't that more expensive. Actually, if anything, if you have the discounted price for this thing, or the trade price for this thing, you can get uh, get it for cheaper than the regular one. But I'd suggest getting this one, especially if you have a friend, which I don't have, but if you have a friend, you can use it to just cause mayhem. And then same with the APC. I just want the APC because it's cool. But anyway, uh, that's it for now. Uh, that's my weekly GTA review. Oh, shit. Uh, bye.